This is no clay. Okay. It's a washed sand. Okay. So it's like a river sand, yeah. but has uh, that coarseness that you need. Okay. You can see there's a stone. Yeah. Can you use river sand? You can use this one. Yes. If, if your river sand is clean, because sometimes river sands have clay in it yeah. or silt, yeah. so you, you need to have a river sand that is clean. What of beach sand? No. I would not recommend beach sand because beach sand has salt and salt reduces cement quality. It affects your cement quality. So beach sand shouldn't be used. Do we need to shift the sand? Sorry? Do we need to shift the sand? No, it's already sifted. So that's a nice thing about sand, it's already sifted. So 40% of your mix is already sifted. So that's the sand. Okay, so. So your first wheel, but we'll probably have to empty one of the wheel bearings. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to one. Yeah. So we'll have to put four buckets of sand in the first wheel bearer. And then, uh, then if you are using a quarry bus, yes. Where does it come in here? It's the same, it's, it's here. It's same. Yeah, it's okay. the same quarry dust or river sand or coarse sand. It's the same as <coughs> you can use both. But again, quarry dust sometimes, um, if you add quarry dust, some of them have a lot of high silt, and it then doesn't, it, you don't, um, you add it, but your silt increases also. So you, it's also a problem sometimes. More you, cement. Yes. It could affect, so best is the sand first, but otherwise quarry dust is the uh, second best option. Anything that has got a coarse of, uh, this soil is quite fine, you felt it in this, you can see how fine it is. Yeah. It looks coarse, but that's only the, the clay particles that are coarse. Okay. So, right, so, so our first mix, these are, uh, we won't fill this bucket up, so this is a 12 litre bucket. You just have to, it's not as full as, right up to there, no? These are 12 litre buckets, so we're just a few. Uh, excuse me. This is uh, coming this is 65. This is a 65 litre wheel bearing. And we're adding. We are adding four, four buckets. Actually, let's maybe try. Let's do three first and then we'll add another one uh, afterwards to see the difference. So, 65 we're adding. Three buckets of 10 litres. 10 litres, yeah. So, we don't want to fill it up. Oh, if it's filled up, it's probably. 10 buckets. So, this is 10 litres. 10 litres, yeah. Okay. Now we fill up with the soil. That will be your first wheel barrel that you will put in the mix. Now, since quite a best of the same seal, can you use so that delicate seal? So, for so we don't make it. Sorry? Mm. No, 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 we just fill it up. Then. Uh, yeah, you could actually maybe take it away with just using quite a bit. But again, quite is sometimes sometimes it's good to handle it if it doesn't have enough. I see. Yeah. Uh, that's the it. Yes. That's the that's My question. Yes. You said you can use about percent. About 20 percent, yes. About three of those is that. Yes. You always put the, the sand in the first wheel bearing. Yeah. yeah. So is this right? Is this correct? No. no. What is correct? Why is not correct? No, the heap. Right. So you have to level. Oh, there it's right. Yeah. So remember, is when you when you uh, have a wheel bearer, always want to keep the same volume. So it's, yeah. I'm going to give you 100% <laughs> as, as close as possible to the rim. So now you know you've got 65 meters going into your mix. So it's exactly 65 meters. So now we'll have two wheel bearers at 65 at 130 meters. And in that we'll have about a bucket of four meters. We have 10% mix today, about. But you always start strong on mixes. But when you start your, uh, your blockyard, 
your first mix it should be this around the 10%. Okay. But then after you get this. No, no matter the quality, you can start reducing the percentage. You've got very high strength look. Uh, you can drop 2% easily or 3% easily. Okay. So by adding sand, I can guarantee nearly that your increase in the quality is going to be very high. Alright. So, also water is very important. You need to, for cement, you to explore the cement properly a lot. But cement would uh, require drinking water, not fresh water or water from sewage or something like that. The cleanest water you can find. I understand sometimes you can't you have to use rainwater and water, so that's fine, but that's clean water. So try and collect rainwater and you know, to use on your block site. You will use quite a lot of water per day, so every block you take about a liter of water. The drier the mix, the more water you have. So this is quite dry today, you can see the material is dry. So we'll probably be adding about 12 liters of water to 30 liters of water in this mix. But the wetter the block, the less water. You'll probably only add 8 liters. Alright. So, does it really have to come with the uh, assessment stuff? Yeah. Uh, won't that be a problem? It, it shouldn't affect too much your, uh, your, your block. Especially if you are using 10 or 8 percent things. Um, actually, the pH, the best pH for Portland cement is 6.5. The neutral is 7. Uh, you put it up to the okay, So if you have a, yeah, so if you're using Portland cement, 6.5 is a good okay. um, Right, so that's the first wheelbarrow, the second wheelbarrow. So what we'll do, we'll start the machine. Let the mixer turn, and we'll put this first wheelbarrow in, and we'll do the bucket of cement, and then we'll put the second wheelbarrow in. All right. Always let the sand break down the clay a little bit, then you add the cement, and then you add the other, other clay. All right. Um, where's the gauge for the water? 